What's up, everybody? Z3KO Trinity here. I'm here with my brother, Batman Dragon, straight out of Hogwarts. Jeremy Weasley, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it's a little orgish. It'll pass. Um, actually, this was a Christmas gift that my cousin got for me. I, I didn't expect anything at all whatsoever. And it was right uh, out of the blue, and I was like, "And I'm just wearing what? it. I'm just wearing it because the shirt I got underneath doesn't look that great." So he I thinks mean, it's, it looks too tight. He thinks he's fat. I am fat. He's not fat. I'm fat. Right. But anyway, enough about this bullshit. Who's fat? She's fat. We're all fat in the inside. I just feel like I'm from Except for Henry Cavell. If this is what it felt like to be at Hogwarts with all these like Let's really you guys long sleeves. Look at this. Look at this. I could fit a whole person in this sleeve. Like, <laughs> the Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> and then they'd suck them up. I don't know why the spell that makes things float would suck people in, but okay. Well, Garjo, suck you so. <laughs> suck your asshole. <laughs> suck your asshole. Well, Garjo, suck your asshole. <laughs> but anyway. You don't even know what this video is about. No, anymore. they're not. They're just basing this off the title of the video. But we just got back home a few moments ago. We did. And we went to theaters. We did. And we saw... Harry Potter. No, I'm just kidding. We saw the Justice League. Wait, we did? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what theater did you go to? Yes, we watched the Justice League movie. That's exactly what we did. Now, in the title, it does not say spoilers... But what this is, is it's sure. basically, the beginning of this video is going to be spoiler free, and then I'm going to say, okay, from this point on, spoilers. Spoiler. So, Spoiler. that way, you know, everyone gets a chance to hear what we truly think of the movie. But as of right now, welcome to Movie Monday, even though it's not Monday, never is. it never is going to be Monday, so just get over it. But, uh, I had to think there for a second. I thought it actually was Monday, but no, it's not. Like, wait, Monday? If it was Monday, I'd have been at work. I know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay. Jeremy, what did you think of this Justice League movie without giving away t details in general? Well, without giving away any details, I would say the Justice League movie was an attempt to... To for to get to it's basically was an attempt from them to get forgiveness of the fans for giving such a disappointment with Batman versus Superman, and I think that with this movie they tried so hard to be the Avengers that they didn't match what the rest of the movies they've been making are. Like if you sit down and you watch all their movies so far, you know the Man Solo of Steel, and Man of Steel and all that. Batman versus Superman, Wonder Woman. Suicide Squad. If you watch those, they all have a certain tone. You know, Suicide Squad. No, I mean, if you, all of them have a certain tone, and it sets this tone for their work, their universe. And it was a darker tone. It was a more serious tone. And then this movie's like, let's try to be the Avengers so we can make money sales. I and noticed so, that this in this movie it was more colorful for one. And what I mean by colorful is in literally colorful, the rest of the movie seemed kind of dark and grayish, whereas this one was kind of upbeat, sunshine, and I mean, everything was happy-go-lucky. And I just, to me, and I the think... Jokes, the jokes in the movie, left and right, like every, every what, 20 minutes was a joke yeah. thrown in there somewhere? They tried to make the less serious tone so they can get the audience back. And I mean, that's fine. I get that you have a, you're trying to compete with other companies with movies and stuff. I understand. And that, that. and like you said, they were listening to people when they were, uh, you know, trash talking the Batman versus Superman movie. Yeah. Like for me, for example, I didn't like the movie because for me, being such a huge Superman fan, it kind of hit me the wrong way, and honestly, it shouldn't have because the whole time. The movie is building Superman up to be the hero that, you know, I know him to be. But when I was watching it in theaters, it just didn't hit me that way. So that's why I had a problem with it. But with this movie, they kind of was like, oh, we are sorry about that. Here, let's make Superman the greatest thing on the entire... You know, instead of calling it Justice League, 
we should just call it Superman and Friends. Superman and some other guys. I mean, the movie, <laughs> the, don't get me wrong, the movie was good. They did do a lot of things right. It, it, it felt like a Justice League movie. I just think that maybe they should have waited till they all had an individual film each before they made the Justice League. Like, yeah, I kind of feel like it would have been better to have the build-up of each one of them, like, because when you met... But then wouldn't people just say, oh, they're just doing what Marvel did. But it kind of worked. They made a movie. They half-butted everyone's storylines to fit just in this little short film that was shorter than the, uh, Batman vs. Superman. And then they were like... There you go. Now we'll see what happens next. Yeah, now they're I mean, I'm, best I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm hating on the buddies. movie. Like, I don't want to seem like I'm hating on the movie. I just, I think the hype was so much bigger than what we got. Just like, you know. Yeah. I, if you ask me, it's just like agree. any movies right now. Like, every superhero movie I've went and watched this year has felt like a big lead up to a somewhat less of a feeling to it, you know? Yeah. Like, I haven't seen Thor yet, so I can't say about it, but, like, watching the other movies that's came out this year that were superhero-related movies, they've all had that, wow, that was not what I expected. You know what I mean? And I hate yeah. that. Yeah, I can fully agree. Like, the movie, it seemed like it sped pretty quickly. Like, it's like, okay, here's the scene. Now here's the scene. Now here's the scene. Now here's the scene. They didn't really spend way too much time on the one individual and I mean, scene. I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad they did that too because I think that was something that Batman vs. Superman did wrong was they took too long to get to the point. Like we were sitting there watching nightmare after nightmare of Batmans and you're like, what does this have anything to do with the freaking movie? And then, then this movie they're like, okay, let's cut all the extra stuff and let's get straight to the storyline. And I think that's good. I just, I mean... Well, it's good in some points, but it was bad yeah. for others. Like, when they were having, you know, him with Aquaman for the first time, I would have liked to have seen that extended way more than what their first meeting was. Yeah, because it was kind of like Bruce Wayne was like, It's like, hey, man, hey, we, what's we up, need, Aquaman? We need to hey, know each I other. I need to, I'm looking for this Aquaman fella. Have you seen him? Oh, by the way, I am Aquaman. And then he's like, oh, you want to join the club? You want to join the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? <laughs> and Why he was we... all like, no, nah, man. Fuck you, and he I like dove how, into the ocean. I like how I put my hand up first, and then he does it to me. I'm like, wait, which one of us is Superman? Because I was trying to be Superman or Batman just now, but okay. Um, but I mean, to me, it was just kind of like, you know, here's Batman, like, hey, Aquaman, you should be and on my team. Also, and then a couple of scenes later, Aquaman shows up and like, hey, I'm on your team I noticed now. that also Batman is the main character of the entire movie, because from beginning up until end, Batman was literally just right there. The whole entire time. He had probably the most screen time. Yeah, he had the. But I mean, at the same time, he's time, but... he's the the leader. Like he's supposed to be trying to bring the team. Well, he together. is the one bringing the team together. To but you know, as the person who's bringing the t and I guess that's another thing. It's like as the guy bringing the team together. I feel like the movie didn't make him the leader. It seems like once he got the team together, he was no longer this leader. It was just like. Okay, now we don't need you anymore. Go, go ahead. Yeah, and I feel like the movie, corner. the movie just lacked epicness. It lacked the epic feel of the Just Slate together. Like you know, like in the Power Rangers movie when they're all like, and you could just see them all in their outfits, and you're just kind of like, oh my god, and all together. And then the they big never had that scenes. With they the didn't have that in this on. movie until the end when the enemy was beat. You know what I mean? Like they're all to stand together. and You're like, okay. I just kind of wish there would have been more, you know... More. <laughs> character development mm -hmm. together as a team. Okay. You know, like in the Justice... Well, we're well, already in nine minutes of the video. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and make this the halfway mark. Spoiler mark. So from this point on in the video, it's going to be spoilers. We are going to fully express how we feel about the movie, about the scenes. So if you have not seen this movie, please stop the video now and then come back when you've watched the movie and see if you agree with us or if you see it in a whole different light. So uh, feel free to comment below and let us know your full opinions. Um, but please, you know, don't be hateful. Don't say, like, you fat fucks don't know what you're talking about. Also, you know, we Just, sit here you know, and said really... no spoilers this whole time, and we literally said that Superman was in the movie right at the beginning. 
and that's a spoiler in itself. <laughs> if if people did not see <laughs> Superman, if they're like, oh, he did return, <laughs> you're pretty blind. <laughs> True. Huh. Dust rose at the end of Batman vs. Superman. In the trailer, a red cape was shown in, in Alfred's glasses. <laughs> so anyway, but right now, spoilers. All right, so, so... Steppenwolf. Wow. I feel <laughs> he, at the beginning when he was introduced, I felt like, oh shit, this is, you know, they're fighting against a new god. Because that's what Steppenwolf is trying to be. He's trying to be a part of the new gods. And the mother box. What's the deal with the mother box? Like, is it even powerful? I mean, yeah. It was literally, like, creating a whole new life. You, did you see it? That's what I brought did back see Superman. That, but what brought, made Cyborg him. I don't know. And just he was to creating. Me, it felt what? like when he finally got the boxes combined, I'm like, oh, shit. Shit's going down. Well, see, but then they, all of a sudden they're like, hey, Steppenwolf, step aside. And step then, aside, And then, uh, you know, let's just rip well, here's these the cubes thing. apart. What it was was this, the, what he was trying to do is he was trying to rebuild his world that he had had before. And he was starting in this little unknown town so nobody would see it happening until it's done happening and they can't stop it. So basically the Just League got there in enough time to stop it before it ever reached more life. You see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Problem is... When you watch the very first Avengers movie, and I'm not, I'm not trying to compare the Avengers and Justice League movie, I'm not, because it, it, I literally could compare it to any comic book as well. Why did Avengers get together? Because Samuel L. Jackson was like, hey, I'm putting together a team. Together. But what was the enemy? What was the enemy that made them have to get the team together? Um, I don't think there is the, an enemy. Well, there... Loki. It wasn't so much Loki, Loki as it was, was bringing the these, cube. Yeah, he, but he was bringing these enemies to the earth that they were fighting and had to do all this stuff and it was like oh my god the world's going to be over and i felt like the justice league got together for this threat that's coming you know like the whole time you're like oh shit some's going to go down the Some justice league has to form you know and it was kind of like that but then they're like let's reborn superman and then superman comes alive and he literally just goes and could have done everything that the justice league did by himself that's the problem. Like, literally, Superman did not... They did not need Batman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Flash, anyone else. They just needed Superman. Because as soon as Superman showed up, he would have just fucked them up and been over. And I will stop you right there because no. Yeah. There is one other team member that they needed. Cyborg. Cyborg. That's literally it. Because without Cyborg using his technology, his alien-like technology... I'll stop you there, too. ...of the Mother Cube... Had Superman not died, they would have never have had this Mother Box shit happen because no one would have feared shit, and Batman <laughs> Superman would have been perfectly fine. But do you see what I'm saying? Like, it just feels like the Justice League didn't need to form for this shit. Like, Steppenwolf didn't even make a scar on Superman. Superman showed up with this smug-ass, look at me, I'm a badass motherfucker, with no... Like, he was such a, a, a stupid, asshole, jerk, fuckboy. Like, I hate to say it like that, but literally that's how I felt about Superman in this movie. It's like, yo, look at me. I'm Superman. I just fucked up the whole Justice League by myself. Could have killed Batman, but I didn't because my girl's here. And then Steppenwolf shows up and he's like, oh, you guys ain't done yet? Oh, sorry, I done saved 125 people in a building. And I'm about to come up too. Oh, and while I'm at it, let me just separate these boxes with Cyborg. Like, it just felt like Justice League didn't need to be here to help this. He just needed one guy in a robot suit, and it would have been it. And I feel like that was just kind of an unnecessary need for the Justice League to get together. Now, if Superman would have showed up, and Steppenwolf would have Superman shit up at the same time, and it would have took them all together fighting him at once to beat him, like all one angle beating onto him to beat him, that would have been cooler. But no, Batman, Superman just shows him and goes, wham, oh, you, ain't got, you guys, you ain't done with him yet? Oh, let me just... Let me just tick him in the nuts yeah. and knock him down a little bit. Yeah, like, Superman kind of flies off because he's you know he hears the cries of other people. He saves them, but then he just kind of shows back up. And he's like, "Oh, is this guy still here? You guys still have a problem with him?" Like I just felt like that was, it. It just felt like there was the no reason for the Justice League. The only problem that I had with it, to be honest, and I'm a huge Superman fan, of course, of course. And but the one big, big problem, fan. the one big problem that I had was the lack of appreciation that Superman gave to Batman. Yeah, I mean, see, Batman, Batman everybody did, else you know, was just save his life. Batman was all like, 
you know, we need to bring him back. And I believe this mother box, this cube, has enough power to bring him back from the dead. And everyone else is like, no, nah, you don't want to do that. That's too pow That's too risky. What happens if things go south? And Batman's like, I don't give a shit because I believe in Superman. I believe things will come out right. I believe in Superman. There is no possible way that things could go south. And then... You know, Superman shows up and he it. grabs Batman and goes, no one needs you in this world, basically. And then says, let's see if you believe. I mean, it was kind of funny he said that because that's what Batman said. Yeah, to him. and he was, and people can arguably say that he was corrupted at the time, yes. But the rest of the movie, he didn't show Batman really any kind of friendship or acknowledge Batman in any other way. He shows up and then hey, at the very for end, house back. he was like, Batman's giving him all the money to get his house back, get his shit together. And still, I didn't even hear a thank you, and Bruce, the team needs you, the te The world needs Batman just as much as it needs a Superman. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. I was expecting a little bit more interaction, a little bit more friendship between yeah. these two. And the fact that... But it's so one-sided. And the fact that the DC comic writers are actually helping with this movie just makes me feel like that no one at DC Comics has any respect or appreciation for Batman. Because they're literally making films where they're basically putting Superman on a pedestal and saying, fuck Batman the whole time. From Batman vs. Superman. I mean, I'm not trying to be that, like, oh my god, I'm a Batman fan, they're ruining it. No, like, it's just, Batman has not been shown any appreciation. And how are they going to show appreciation to him? By making Bruce Wayne retire and have someone replace him completely. That just shows me that nobody knows what they're doing at DC Comics when it comes to making a movie. Whereas the Marvel Universe got it right by actually having everybody's origins start at once and have this cool storyline go on instead of like DC Comics where they're like, hey, let's make a, a retiring Batman so we can replace him later on. And then like they're just showing Batman how weak he is in the movie and how unimportant he is because literally Batman didn't even need to be there. He brought Superman back to life, which he didn't even do by himself. He literally just came up with the plan to do it and that was it. Had he not done that... The rest of the time, Batman was useless. He would have just sat back and been like, yeah, you got you got that? Yeah, because I can't really do nothing because okay. I'll die. And I feel like that just makes the whole Justice League movie not feel like it was needed to happen. And also the parts in the movie where he had that moment to shine, it was easily thwarted. Like when he shows up in that giant climbing machine thing, and he's like, sorry guys, I didn't bring a sword, and starts shooting, lighting up those parademons with the guns. I was like, oh shit, this is badass. But then within a split second... Steppenwolf fucks him up yeah, and it's Yeah, it's done. Yeah, yeah and every time Batman actually did something, it just seemed like it was like, you really don't need to be here. And even Batman was like, I'm going to sacrifice myself for you all. And then yeah, Wonder Woman Batman was like, yeah, we're not letting you like, sacrifice. Even Batman is like, you know what, guys? Y'all don't need me. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll open the ways for you. I'll, I'll sacrifice my life because it's not important anymore. You guys like, just go in and save the day. I said, don't get me wrong. The movie's good. It is definitely better than what I, ex I... It's it's not as good as what I was hoping, but at least it wasn't crappy. Now let's step aside from Batman and Superman for a second. Let's talk about the other characters. If you ask me... Okay, I, now, I agree Now, Wonder with you. Woman, I think they did an excellent job with Wonder Woman's character. Yeah, I think the um, character that shined the no most in the movie... Woman was Ezra Miller's Flash. I think he shined the most in the film itself. I did... When I... Going into this, I was very skeptic about the way he was going to play Flash. He didn't look the part. It didn't sound the part to me in the trailers. Yeah, it showed some of the jokes, but other than that, I was like, man, I really don't know if I'm going to like this guy's version of the Flash. But seeing the movie, seeing him in action, I did like the way he played Flash. And yeah. I, I can't wait for them to do the solo movie of The Flash. Which we all know now is Flashpoint. There has been rumors that the official movie is going to be called Flashpoint. And it's going to be Flash is Flashpoint <laughs> or something like that. Oh, and that's where they're going to change actors for Batman. <laughs> it's going to send him back to being young again. <laughs> the Doomsday Ooh. Clock. What if they did? That'd be cool though. If they made them but, all young um, and they got all new actors. <laughs> One I am disappointed with was Aquaman. Aquaman 
had badass scenes, yes. They didn't show enough of him to give you the spotlight he deserved yeah. to make people be like, I can't wait for yeah. the Aquaman movie to come out. Like, now, they said he was a king of Atlantis, but did they show it? No, I don't think they showed it in this movie. See, I know. Didn't they refer to him solo. as the king of Atlantis? I believe so. Yeah, at the time he wasn't even a part of Atlantis. He just literally showed up. I know, but when they actually showed Atlantis, I know in the beginning when you know Atlantis is fighting with all them and has all those guards. But when it goes back to Steppenwolf showing up to grab the cube in Atlantis, how many Atlanteans did you see? Not very many. There's like four. Yeah, which is probably because they're. Which yeah, I mean, deserved more freaking time. Freaking the Amazons were like hundreds compared yeah, to the thousands Atlanteans. thousands come over the also, field. Also, I didn't know that the Atlanteans couldn't breathe underwater, apparently. Because that's what it looked like. In, or can't talk underwater. Isn't it in the All comic books they talk underwater? The they talk thing. underwater in the comics. I think she did that just so other Atlanteans couldn't hear them. No. It was like a force field. They literally could not talk underwater. None of them were speaking. Hmm. Like when Mira was being like, no one was speaking at all. No one was speaking to each other. And I'm like, well, and it wasn't until Jeremy, she made that sure border. The actors are going, oh, 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 they oh, could have, oh, they could have oh. made it CG to make it look like that. But it just, it seemed weird to me that they're Atlanteans and they don't breathe underwater or they don't talk underwater. Yeah. Like, what do you need? Some like. Well, I don't know. I just feel that he had. I feel they like they should have literally him. just said, guys, let's like drop everything. And let's redo this. And when they showed the Green Lanterns in with the whole big fight at the beginning of Steppenwolf's story, I was thinking, oh my god, this is foreshadowing because Wonder Woman is going to be fighting in Justice League. Aquaman is going to be fighting in the Justice League. I'm like, oh my god, does that mean that they're going to show Green Lantern? Because they showed three different groups of people fighting Steppenwolf when he first appeared. Which was the which was the Amazons, the Atlanteans, and the Green Lantern Corps. So I was thinking, oh my god, what if this is foreshadowing and Green Lantern's gonna show up and you know, all together come together him again. right but now. No, no, no Green Lantern. I will say we we literally have been like tearing this movie apart for it's wrong. Twenty two minutes. <laughs> And we haven't really said the real good things about it. But if you ask me, there's some really, really good points in this movie. Um, the surprise endings were really good. I'm not going to spoil that. Literally, there that is, is not a spoiler. Though, the there's two endings. One directly after the credits and then one at the very end. One was a comical ending. And, and then the second yeah. one was the most important after all the but credits. But we're not spoiling those. Those are you need to go watch and enjoy parts. Yeah. Um, but I will say that the actors themselves were really, really good. I liked Ezra Miller... Jason Boa, Gail got it, Ben Affleck, what, Henry Cavill. Ever the guy's name is, he plays uh, Cyborg. Oh. And uh, Henry um, Cavill. Oh, I knew it a second ago, but I can't. They did a really good that. job on Cyborg, really good job on Aquaman, Flash, Wonder Woman. It did feel great. You and know? that's another character we left out, Cyborg. I think that they did an excellent job with Cyborg. Yeah. And I feel like, you an know, excellent job. I liked whenever Cyborg and Flash were sitting there talking. And you could just tell they're like, we're the young, we haven't been heroes for a long time kind of feel. Whereas, you know, Aquaman, you can kind of just tell that he's been a warrior his whole life. Superman's a hero. Batman's a hero. Wonder Woman's been a hero. The Trinity. And so you can literally the just... The C3KO Trinity. But you can see that that immaturity between Cyborg and him where he was just kind of mm -hmm. like, we're the new kids on the block type thing. And My favorite scene in the entire movie, though... Is I'm guessing where uh, Superman actually joins in with the fight. There's a lot of scenes like I actually teared up whenever um, it opened the casket and saw Superman holding the picture of his dad. I teared up whenever teared Superman up had that. Batman and said that. Uh, does, but does the world need you? Because to me it just was like, fuck you, Batman. I mean, to me it was just like. The movie didn't, like, when they did that part, I was just kind of like, this whole beginning and stuff kind of just shows that Batman can't really do much on his own anymore, and that he's basically a weakling, and he's just a human. And even when the Flash asks, well, what's your superpower, and all he says is money, I'm just like, you guys don't understand Batman, do you? Like, you Apparently guys are missing the point. 
And I feel like whoever decided to write the script for this and decide to do this movie doesn't get Batman at all. And I think that Ben Affleck is a great Batman, but I think he's being betrayed and has way better opportunity to be the, one of the best Batmans out there, but he's being fucked by the developers because that's not Batman. Batman's superpower is not his money. Yes, if he wouldn't have his money, he wouldn't have the gadgets and stuff he has. But it's, it's his intelligence, it's, it's his, his intelligence determination, will, de you know, his detective, you know, skills, and and his passion. I would say this movie's just kind of like, yeah, yeah, he's just a human. It's pathetic. I mean, Aquaman says it. The Flash says it. Wonder Woman is, I think, the only fucking person on the entire Justice League that doesn't put down Batman. Yeah, because she really literally picks him up and together. says, you know. We need you, basically. And I was just waiting for the moment in the movie where did you Batman catch, shines and actually shows and did you what catch he's worth. That um, whenever he said that he was going to basically sacrifice himself, and then they show up to fight with him, and he's like, "This isn't the plan," and they're like, "You can thank the lady." So basically, they were just like, "Oh, we were going to let you, you know, sacrifice yourself so we could do it, but you know, she's the one that said." We have to solve. Yeah. We have to save you. And to me, that just seems kind of like I said. The like whole movie, some team. <laughs> you know, I mean, I get Batman doesn't think that he's, you know, but even Batman himself doesn't think that he's worth it anymore. But to I me, just I was think, just waiting for the moment in the movie where it actually lets you feel I that fully, Batman was needed. I one hundred percent agree with what you said. I think they were just in so much of a hurry to get the Justice League movie out there that it was a flop to me. Not saying, you know, the movie was total crap. I'm not saying that. It's good. The only thing I'm saying is. is, if they would have took more time, did more character developments, made more movies, and had them slowly coming together and forming a more powerful bond, then hit them with a Justice League movie where they all feel so, you know, passionate about their friendship... You know, that even if one person... Like, I wanted to feel like Batman going, I'm going to sacrifice myself. And not telling everybody, you know. And they're like, no, he's not. And then they go in there and they just find a way to save him. And they all work together completely. But, I mean, at the same time, it's the very first time they've all got together. And he did it for a reason. And I get, you know... The Avengers, like, I don't think any of them in the Avengers in the first movie were willing to sacrifice themselves for each Tony other Stark. at first. Not at first, you know what I mean? Like, Tony Stark was ready to sacrifice himself. But I'm just saying, I feel like they weren't all ready to be, like, we're best buddies yet. You know what I mean? In the mm -hmm. Avengers movie. So I think that the next movies, you know, you'll see their bond forming. Like, at the very mm -hmm. ending, with that one credit, you know, you saw the bond between those two. And I just kind of feel like eventually they'll get the bond. But I just kind of, like I said, the point that I think they missed with this movie was you made Batman look like he was not needed. And it ended with you still not needing Batman on the team. And I felt like they should have made every one of them feel like they were all needed on the team. You know, Flash showed, like, it's just kind of like, well, you're the fastest man alive and super, you saved this people in this truck. But Superman just saved this huge building full of people. You know what I mean? I was like, you kind of just made Superman look like he was the only important member on the team. And everybody else just didn't matter. Yeah, it's like Flash. They should have just been called Superman: like, The Justice it's League. It's like movie. you're trying to raise money, and you come in and be like, "Guys, I just raised a thousand dollars," and then somebody else comes right behind you, go, "I just raised over a hundred million dollars." Yeah, and, and I you're feel just like, like I just kind of feel like they made Superman shine, and everyone else just looked dull compared to it. Yeah, because he was the only one who shined in this movie. Because you know, Wonder Woman wasn't really shown as an important member of the team, and you know, she was saw as the leader until Superman came back in. Batman was basically seen as just a human. The Flash was just seen as some kind of character that's a hero, but he's got a long ways to go. Cyborg, he's the only way they were going to separate the box, so he was just kind of needed anyways. And then Aquaman was just muscle. I'm just like, maybe you could have made each character look like they actually mattered, because they all should. And you know, they, they should have just took the, the original, the New 52 and, Justice uh, League comic and redid thing, it to a movie. Another thing that I felt they should have done... They did the joking part, you know, or do you really talk to fish, you know, and did all that stuff. The joking's fine. I, well, I felt that they should have done something with that. Like, had a couple parademons in the water trying to attack or something. 
then Uncle Man just kind of puts his hand like this, and then all of a sudden a big ass fish just munches down on a bunch yeah. of them. Because that would have been badass. I mean, and they would have been like, "You really do talk to fish, or you know, or something." Cause some kind of think joke about like it. That. In the Avengers movie, each character. They showed their powers. You know, Thor, it showed his strength with the hammer and how he uses it. You saw Hawkeye's arrow using... They showed each one of their individual and their powers and, how they, and their strengths and what they work. This movie basically just said, hey, look, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Superman all have super strength and all their other powers don't matter. You know what I mean? Like Wonder mm -hmm. Woman, yeah, she did the little cling thing sometimes. But Aquaman was literally... None of his abilities were used except for his... And for some reason, they can all fly. Sort of. You know what I mean? Like, all of them seem to have the flying ability, but can't land it properly. You know what I mean? And then Batman's just like, yeah, the only thing I can really do is steal the Parademons' weapons and use them against them, or, you know, shoot a grapple gun and grab them. Like, Batman could, as martial arts expert, and it never showed him using martial arts skills. And I'm just kind of like, y'all half-assed in a, a Justice League movie so you can sell. And that's why it's not succeeding. That's why the Justice League movie was not given the rating it could be, because it's... It's going to be compared to the Avengers every time, and I hate that I do that because even I agree it shouldn't be compared. But it set a standard for how the movie should be, and it actually worked out, and it makes people feel good when you're watching it. And this movie just kind of deteriorate deteriorates mm -hmm. the good parts that it could have had. There was so much opportunity, and they never went with it. I feel like they should have just made the and TV series. They could series. have went anywhere with it. Like, like before I even watched the movie. You know, I'm thinking of Superman's point of view. I'm like, oh, I wonder if he's going to come back with his black suit. You know, I didn't think they were going to resurrect him the way they did because the dirt rose at the end. So I'm thinking, okay, he's just going to show up. He's a, he's just already alive, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's going to show up, maybe in the black suit. Maybe they're going to skip the whole eradication. They could have had a part in the movie that where fine, Lois like, Lane was go was taking his body. To the fortress of solitude to reborn, re, re, you know, or just him. went to the grave to put flowers on it, and it was like blown up from See, the ground I think or something. It would have been cooler Should've if been she like, was the one to reborn fuck? him. You know, I mean, no, I like Batman reborning him too, but you know what they should have done. And another thing about Lois Lane, they screwed her character up so bad. I can't stand the Lois Lane that in these movies. I liked her in the first movie. The that first movie, movie yes, but. To me, it ruined her character. You know what they should have just done instead? Hmm. They should have just said, you know what, guys? The movie universe, we can give that to Marvel. Let's do the TV universe. Because could you, they could have done a Superman show, a Batman show, um, a Green Lantern show, and a Wonder Woman show, and they could have just all connected into a Justice League show they together. Could have, they should have done Man of Steel, and then had a sequel to that one, Man of Steel 2, then Batman vs. Superman. Because that way, the one they and two... They should have never have done Batman vs. Superman. Let's the just one get that and two... There. The one and two could have been a development between him and Lois Lane's characters. So I would have personally felt a more connection. If I never knew anything about the comics, if I never knew anything about like the Smallville t TV show, if I didn't know any of that, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch this, just, this uh, Superman movie, I would not feel any connection whatsoever between him and Lois Lane. If Lois Lane would have bite the big one in this movie, for example, I probably wouldn't have felt a thing, except when you know Superman's pain, because I've no, I've grew up with Superman, so I would have felt that. Otherwise, yeah. nothing. I think that their personalities aren't even right either. Superman in the movies are he's too cocky. He's more of a cocky jock than he is anything. Like, at least in this movie, he was. It seemed just kind of like seemed like it, he yeah. was just like this. Oh well, I'm Superman. I'm better than everybody. And Batman's like, I hate people. Oh, I'm Superman. And then the Batman, and Batman's like... <laughs> <laughs> and then Batman's character just kind of feels like he's just a depressed emo kid who's ready to give up and not be a superhero anymore and doesn't feel like he's worth anything when that's not Batman. I think the only one that the feeling of the character feels right is Cyborg and Wonder Woman. Because Aquaman... Well, Flash, they did a perfect job. I mean, Flash... Flash too, but so. I picked... But Flash didn't seem as smart. Yeah, Flash is supposed to be a forensic expert, but... He I, didn't I, go to, like... I wouldn't well, say I mean, this one's graduated he's still in the process. He's still in the process of doing that. They made him but, a teen instead of an actual full-on... Well, like, whenever he's talking, it just kind of seems like he's not as intelligent as what he should... I'm afraid of... He's like, I have a fear of... I have a fear of insects and water... 
And I'm like, what? And go in and tell people. You know what I mean? It just kind of made him sound like he was a pussy. And I'm just like, I get he's a teenager, but like, I don't know. I just feel like they don't, they just kind of don't know what they're doing. Whoever wrote this just seems like they're just writing it to get a movie out there. Yeah, just get it out there as quick as possible. Just let Brian Michael Bendis write the freaking movie already. <laughs> but anyway, we did not mean for this video to be just a big vent. And honestly, you can thumb down the video. I will perfectly understand. It's everyone's true opinion. And please, let us yeah. know in the comment section below what did you think. If you perfectly loved every single moment of the video, tell us. Just say, hey guys, I loved every single minute of the video. I don't really agree with what all you said. You did have some parts that I agreed with, blah, 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 blah. But I don't want comments like, hey, fuck you guys. You don't know what you're talking about. You obviously watched a different movie than I did or something like that. And I'm like not that. saying that the movie's bad because in all honesty, I enjoyed the movie. When the movie was over, I was like, I love this movie. Like, I was ready to watch it again. But... As a, but see, here's the thing is when I watch the Avengers movies and I watch the Marvel movies, I'm just not like critical about it because I'm just watching like, yeah, that's cool. That's a cool way to do it. Awesome. But when I watch the Batman and I watch the Superman, I watch the, the DC Comics things, I'm so much critical because I love the DC Universe so much more. Yeah. And there's just so much that you can do to ruin it. Well, we don't really know too much about Marvel. We know the staple characters, like yeah. Captain America and all them. But when it comes to DC, we know every last character to the T. And when we're watching them, either a cartoon or a movie, any time that they come out of character, it immediately we're like, oh, well, that shouldn't be, you know, or something like that. Yeah. Unless the story is good enough to for us to understand them coming out of character. Yeah, I mean, like there's Batman, some he are was good. out of character the and entire movie. Superman. In Batman vs Superman, I felt he was still in character. Mm, I don't know, but in this Batman's movie, not the type of person to brand different. people, though. You know what I mean? They were well, going he was with putting fear of God in people, yeah, and but... he's got to the point where he's like, you know, Robin died, the hell with everyone. See, that's what I'm thinking. Like they have a whole bunch. They, see, that's the problem is they have this huge background past version of Batman, and literally talk nothing about it. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh man, he's lost Robin, he's been through so much. But before and we like, end mm, the video... But we don't know what he's been through. Before we end the video, there's one last character that we have failed to mention. James and Gordon. Is, no. <laughs> well, we James Gordon could. was good. I like the James Gordon. I do, and like, Alfred. And do like the Alfred. Alfred, they're good. Um, but the one character I was going to say, Deathstroke. Jacob, we literally just said we weren't going to spoil it. I didn't that part and that literally spoils the part we said we weren't going to spoil the two ending parts and that spoils it that's all spoiler for the very ending scene Deathstroke okay. that's all we're going to say that's it but if you if you keep up with this kind of news you knew that there was going to be a solo Batman movie and they already casted someone to play Deathstroke so yeah no, just, yeah. Well, then. <laughs> just flip off my audience <laughs> Well, that's how but, it feels uh, about you all. <laughs> but anyway, thank Come you guys for... Come on to my for... channel. I'm more polite over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, yes, thank you. If you've stuck around through the whole video... You, you probably you, haven't. <laughs> good job for you guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, don't go by what we said. This is all how we feel. Yeah, okay? seriously, go watch the movie. If you don't watch the movie and you just listen to what we say, you're a loser. And... That's what really bothers me sometimes. Like, I've literally heard people say, well, IGN gave it a bad rating, so I'm not going to watch it. Or, Is that why you're not getting Battlefront 2 Star Wars? <laughs> Actually, I don't want Star Wars Battlefront When it comes to video it games, it's one. different. I'm talking about movies. Yeah. If someone says, hey, you're not going to like that movie, it's piece of shit. Well, you can go back and watch it and be like, wow, that was the greatest movie of all time. Nipple pinch. Like Catwoman. The Halle Berry version is the only one I'll watch. <laughs> no, that one was that movie was okay if you like ruining the story of a character. <laughs> yeah. But she didn't die and cats didn't molest her to become <laughs> Catwoman. At least it's not the story I know. And yeah, where's Catwoman in these movies? <laughs> She's like, probably where's Bruce Penguin Wayne, all of them. Bruce Wayne's supposed to have his love interest in this movie to back him up. Well I I, I don't see them going. Which with of Catwoman course again. Wonder Woman's probably his Oh, by the way, in the interest, comic so. books, Batman and Catwoman are now engaged to be married. That's right. By the true but OTP. Yes. 
please let us know in the comment section what you thought of the movie. Yes, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give Go it a thumbs my... down if you didn't. If you didn't like it, well... <laughs> and then go to my channel and like me. <laughs> Batman Dragon. Yep, and we will I see. I make new videos you every once in a while. In the next video. Skadooskis. Bye. Oh, yeah, he's on hiatus, by the way. I'm on hiatus for probably a day or three. I'm on hyenas. I'm on hyenas. <laughs> hyenas!